Okay, so this one's going to be the treasure chest, okay? Number two for today. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this right now. And in my mind, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing two pieces right there, okay? So here's a couple really quick, easy things. We take a cube, okay? And I can hit scale, as you know. And I could, I prefer to just press S and do it. Uh, this is kind of cool here. Look at these numbers, okay? So kind of get an idea of the width and height. Take a key quick peek. So let's just say three tab, whatever, 1.5, okay? There, that's one box. I have another box, right? As you know, you right click and then you duplicate, right? But you need to select it first. So this is, um, I'm gonna get it out of the collection here. Where did it go? Oh, it went in here, right? You're out of there. See ya. Okay, treasure. Okay, this is the bottom, okay? And I'm gonna duplicate, shift D, and I'm gonna press Z to come straight up. Okay, there's that. So two pieces. So I want you guys to block things out. I don't want you to get too detailed. So sometimes maybe I don't have a real picture here of one. These are the sketches I demoed in class. So what I could do is I can select the bottom one here, uh, press tab, go to three for face, grab the bottom one, and maybe taper it in. Actually, let's not taper anything. Let's not do that. I'm going to do the top first. Here's an idea. Let me see how, uh, if I go into tab mode here, I want to see how the bevel tool is going to help me here, guys. Look at this. I'm going to take this edge, shift left click, okay? So watch this. This is the same in any app. I think bevel, watch this. Like that, right? Like this. But watch this next part. This is really cool. This is the best part right here. Watch this. You see how many? It's segments one, watch two. Watch three. How do you take that out? What, what, what? How do you open that tab? Yeah, I'll show you right now, okay? So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. Let me just tab out of this, okay? Let's just go here, bye-bye, I'll make another one, okay? Shift D again, Z right upstairs. Okay, so watch, the minute you go to edit mode, right? The world opens up. It's basically we're getting under the hood of the car, we're mechanics now, okay? Tab, right? Let me get out of this. Hang on. Let me just go on this piece here. This one up here, right? So you go tab, go to edges, one edge, second edge. Look at this, okay? This is the bevel, right? The minute I click bevel, there's a little, watch, and I pull, and I let go, boom, this opens up. Only when you invoke it, right? Two, three. Look how nice that is, right? Okay, so you can take, like, look, if I hit 4 here and change this number, whatever it did, let me do point 0.2. Look what it did. <laughs> See, it went inwards. That's, I've never done that, right? Point 0.3, what's that doing? Okay, that's not bad. I think it was point 0.5 before I take, right? That's kind of cool, right? You see that? So that kind of, that looks all right. You know what I mean? So if you add more of these, more cuts, less of these, more, less, right? It's that simple. So let's just go with something like this. Okay, that's part 1. Okay, so the next thing is we're seeing some cuts over here. Do you see that? See these parts that protrude out, right? Okay, so that to me means I need to add some cuts in here, right? So bevel's finito. It's done. So now I'm going to go to this guy here. Look, click once. Now, if I don't let go, sorry, if I hang on to my left click, I can drag this anywhere I want. Or I can just leave it here. Watch this. There is number here too. What? What? See that? Let's go to five cuts, for example, right? See that? Kind of cool, right? So now I get out of the cut tool. So I'm in here, right? This loop here. So if I press Alt, can I pick them up? Yep. Yeah. See? Alt left click or Option left click, right? So I can now go into a different view and say, you know what? You're going to be about here. Okay? And this isn't the way I would do it myself. But I think as someone who just started, this is kind of interesting, right? So, okay, so the one in the middle, I guess I can move it. Or I, I did too many cuts, so you see how I made a mistake, but that's okay. Let's grab these ones, bring them in. Oops, let me go do this again. Let's go like the, uh, what am I? Oh, I was pressing shift. That's why it's weird. Look, the whole loop, right? I can bring this into here, right? I can uh, option left click here, bring it in, okay? There it is. So the middle one, I'm going to make a little thicker than the other ones. Okay, so let's see. Is that, is that almost right? So orthographic is one on the numpad, right? If you guys have a numpad at home, this is awesome. If not, you have to come over here to view, view, viewport, something like that. Front, front one, front back, and so on, right? So if I come back here, view, viewport, uh, front. Okay, here we are. 
Okay, that's cool. So just block things out, guys. Don't go into the details. Okay, I'm going to tab out of here. I'm going to come down here and say, oh, I have some cut here. Okay, let's see. Tab. Insert edge loop. Slide it down. Okay, if you want to do that, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, right? Now, you could actually, if I don't use this method, you can bring another box here, right? You, Sean, like, if I bring another box, I could do all of this from another box, right? Like, for example, like, if I don't want to do these cuts, right? I'm not a fan of cuts. Watch this. Add. You can simply do this, and it's just as fine for me. Look, you can come over. Yeah. Like, you can put this in the corner, right? Like, look, I can take this and go S.5, right? Look, it's 0.5, for example, right? So I'm going to go over here. This is going to be the corner. Look, just like that. One over here. There you go. That's one. I can now duplicate it. Shift D, press X, move it over here. Done. See that? That's a cool design, right? I can duplicate this again. Shift D and move it on the X again. And this time, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to scale it down like the, I said, scale it down like that, right? Look at this. What's stopping me from putting this at the bottom right now? Nothing. Look, for example, I don't know if this is perfect or not, but hey, that works. That does the same thing as that, right? Maybe a, even a little better, I think. Look, look how nice that is. See that? What do you think of that approach, Sean? No, 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 hold on, hold on. We'll, we'll just duplicate more. Watch. Shift D, Y, slide. Boom. This looks kind of cool, right? So what if I take all four of these and duplicate them again? Shift D on the Z. Here we go. Right there. See? Yeah, yeah, but listen, I'm not trying to make it perfect, right? I'm just trying to show you that there's many ways to do the same thing. Shift D. Press Z, right about here. Look how nice that is. So if you look at it from here, that's pretty cool. I think it is, right? I'm going to duplicate this one again. Shift D, and uh, let's go X. Watch this. Slide it over. Bring my scale tool back. Watch, like this, right? Look, and go across. I'm just being, this is called blocking it, okay? So you're blocking it out. You're keeping it simple until things make sense to you. Look, I go across like that. I get my move tool, look, okay? So I'm looking at this going, hey, you're way off, Bounty, no problem. I'll go to front view. Oh, that's why I'm way off, look. Right here, drag it up, okay? Look, okay, so let's spin around and see what's going on. Oh, okay, I need to scale on the Y, no problem. Let's scale on the Y, move it. Okay, you can press G for grab, okay, there. See how nice that kind of looks somewhat okay, right? This is really rough, right? One more. Shift D on the X. Let's go right about there. Look how nice that is. Already that's looking good, right? I'm going to take this piece out for a second. Okay, now guys, I want everybody looking at this right now, please. This is the same thing as I did earlier in the cauldron lesson. Take a look, guys. Look, inside the treasure chest, tab. Select the top face. Boom. Go to inset. I'm going to give you a quiz asking you to perform the same task. It's something different. This face. Watch what happens when I go to inset. You see that? Look. Now if I press E and extrude down, bingo. There you go. You got the cavity in there. Same as the cauldron. See? You need to be able to, to create an inset a bevel, and an extrude, okay? That's simple. That's nice. Okay, so let's bring this one back if you wanted to do it that way. The next thing is, let's take a ring on these. Let's take a ring of faces here, right? Tab. I'm not going to do the whole thing, so click. Watch this. Shift. Uh, sorry, let's go option left click. See? Shift, option, left click. Boom. Now, if I go to extrude, watch this. Look. See this third one? That's the one you want, right here. Boom. There. How's that? Cool? Okay, so watch this now. If I go to Option, left click, there's a ring. Hold Shift. Okay, sorry. Let me do that again. Shh. Yeah, I'm going to extrude this one too. 
I'm going to make this one a little different, just a little more, right? Okay. Okay, so you can see there's some other stuff going on here. Okay. So in a way, this kind of works for me. Okay, it's not perfect. You got to fix these faces after, all right? You'll be fine. Let me get out of this. Okay, let's go to this face here. Let's go to that face here. If you want to now, what if I press inset? Does inset work? Oh my God, it does. Look at that. <laughs> That's sweet, right? What if I press uh, extrude now? Does it go inwards? I don't know how to do that in this app, do I? What if I go to scale now? Let's see. Oh yeah. Look what I just did. I scaled both faces in. Yeah, a little better, right? It's not amazing. It's not great. Look, yeah, but bring it out a bit. Before they was out here, right? I can, I can actually do that too. See how it is scaled both sides at the same time? That's kind of okay, right? All right, so if we click out now. Okay, guys at home, any questions going on here? Okay, I got to get rid of this camera, man. It's bugging me. Uh, to think all you need was a cube. Yeah, exactly, Julian. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to think it through, right? Sometimes it's just like, how do I, it's like, it's all about simple stuff, right? Like, I can now duplicate this again, just again, Shift D, Z, let's go. Let's just prop it in here. Look, so I can hide my mistakes. This is not the best way, but hey, man, it works, right? Look, I can scale this on the X, S, X, a little out. Let's go punch it out. Boom. Let's do it a bit more. Let's see how it is on this side. That looks kind of cool. I need to push it out a bit more, right? So S, X, a little more, right? Right there, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing now down here at the box with just one box, okay? So let's just go here. Now, see how I did this, right? Yeah, the hollow thing. You remember that, right? So if I come in here and tab, press face, watch this, face here, shift, shift, left click, right? If I go to scale now, look, if I come in here and scale this, look, in out oh yeah you see that scale is not only for scale you can actually move things simultaneously or um symmetrically simultaneously i think that works okay so let's add some cuts now get ready just nice and easy cut and move look let go cut left click all the way down here this is good i'll stop here now i'm gonna go to extrude watch i said extrude buddy come on get out Watch this. If I go like this, one at a time, shift left click, shift left. For now, let's just do this side for now, right? E, out. See that? If you wanted to, you could do that, right? Okay, if I don't want to do it that way, I could do it this way. Look, one, two, three. E, and Blender gives you a perpendicular extrude. That is absolutely brilliant. Look, shift left click. Now, if I go E again, I'm going to go out a bit more, <laughs> right? Let's do it over here. But normally when you do these extrudes, watch this. Let's, let me press E, right? Look, out, let go. See here, there's a number, right? So if, you're, if you want to be mathematically accurate, so you can remember this number and say, okay, it's 0.2. I'm going to come over here now, and I'm going to make this one 0.4, right? Just press E. Yeah, five foot six average kind of, right? But, okay, so look. So now I can extrude this part too. Look, see here? Look, E. I'm just doing one side for you guys. Look, a little bit there. Then I can take this side here, press E again. Let go. Look, perpendicular. Thank you. Again, it's a little cheat. It's okay. Kind of works, right? If you want to add a cut here, now is the time to do it, right? I can come in here now, insert edge loop. Watch. Bring it up here. Nice. Done. Okay. Let's go to this face, for example. Let's play an inset. Check this out, Ishan. Watch this. Look how cool this is. Inset, right? Push in. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So now I can go E for extrude, but I don't want to go out. I want to go in. Done. Yeah. It's all the same tools over and over, but different application is my point. You just got to take your time and experiment and see what works for you. Sometimes you'd know, and you say, oh, yeah, I did a negative 1.8. Okay, I'll do the other side, negative 1.8. It's even. There's a way to select them all and do it one shot, but I'm not going to show you that. This is grade 10. It's good enough. 
It's more than good enough, right? Right? I can now watch this. I can take this here, bring it over like that, for example. Go to the rotate tool. Just go like that. Press, yeah, press three. Come to the side view. Go like this, whatever, and just bring it over. So I would have my treasure chest of stuff here or whatever I'm doing, right? Like clothing, who knows what, right? And then you can bring this down and so on. Right, let, let it touch. And then you can work this out. You can leave it like that. If you want to make this part hollow, do the hollow part first before you bevel it, correct? I think it uses Python. Python? Yeah, okay. It would be cool if the, uh, the, the computer science teachers would actually use these apps and say, this is your Python code in here. Like, it would be kind of bringing the worlds together, right? Next semester, please use your tools. Okay, so let me just stop the video here and let you guys go, okay? So 16 minutes, okay, stop.